Howdy, Bob Brown here again. So today I wanted to talk, you know, more about training and practice because uh, a lot of people really like to focus all their training in practice. Because let's face it, it's the funnest thing to do in our sport, right? I mean, I remember I used to go to national championships and, you know, guys would be arm wrestling hard the day before the nationals. I'm like, oh my Lord, man, what are you doing? And then, uh, and then of course, after the nationals is over, oh, you know, you had to find the hotel room with the table in it. We'd arm wrestle 12 hours straight. It was ridiculous, but it's the funnest part of our sport. So if you really want to focus all your training on the table, okay, which is a great way to train, here's what I suggest because you want to get your strength gains and your technique gains from on the table. Well, I've always looked at things like if you want to, you know, get better at doing any sport, then make the training for that sport more difficult. For example, let's say you want to be a good bike rider. Then when you train, train with the most piece of crap bike in the world. And then when you compete, you compete on the best bike and you will have gotten more out of your training. Don't train in perfect scenarios. So arm wrestling, typically we arm wrestle stand up table. The designs are roughly the same and we're all training on the same thing. Well, if you're a top roller, especially if you're a top roller and even hookers, the ability to lower your body becomes very important to finish someone because you're at your strongest right here in the center and then we lower our bodies to finish. So if all of a sudden you couldn't lower your body, it'd be a lot harder to finish, you know? Um, and like I had said before, the closer you get to finishing someone, the weaker you get. The closer you get to losing, the stronger you get. So, there's a couple things you can do that are also fun. One, let's start training sitting down. And I'll show you, I'm gonna move this here. Over to this table. Cause right here is a sit down table. And I'll sit on this side, you know, left-handed. Now let's move this a little further forward. So when you're arm wrestling sitting down, this is as far as I can go because the seat stops me from going any lower. So therefore you're really having to have that inside pressure, not pulling from outside your shoulder, but pulling from inside your sh shoulder pressure to be able to finish. So what usually happens, especially if you've got a couple of guys that are close in ability, close in strength on a stand-up table, you put them on a sit-down table and their matches are a lot harder now because the guy sitting down when he loses, he can hammer curl or bicep curl up to stop the match. But as he gets close to winning, it's a lot harder match. And the next thing you know, these guys are training quite a bit harder. Now, if you really want to get crazy, you can, and well, and to make a sit down table is easy. Most of our tables come apart. So you just buy some four more steel legs, cut them shorter, and you can make your sit down table. But if you don't have a sit down table, uh, there's another way. But before I get to that, the other thing that sitting down does, again, since you can't lower your body to finish, you're gonna to have to learn different techniques, you know? You go to finish someone, you can't finish someone. You're gonna to have to teach yourself how to get better angles, better dragging, better front, better height in order to finish someone. So just arm wrestling and practice on a sit down table is gonna force you guys to learn better finishing techniques. Now, if you don't have a sit down table, let's go back over to the stand up table. And 
I bring you back to the early days of Petaluma, wrist wrestling, where you used to interlock the hands underneath, okay? So you'd literally hold hands underneath, and then to win, you had to bring your opponent's fore or arm down to your forearm. Well, what does interlocking here do? It basically makes you be like you're on a sit-down table. I, I can't lower my body in order to finish, or even if I can lower it a little bit here, it's still way harder to finish someone. So if you're arm wrestling and you have to work your butt off to finish someone sitting down, I guarantee when you stand up, you're gonna finish them way more easily. Um, and you'll have to learn different techniques in order to finish someone and you'll figure it out. But I say all you give it a try. Now, what I was going to say, too, is if you really want to get crazy, try wrist wrestling while sitting down. The matches will be insane, you know, and it's just fun and something different to do. But it will force you to get stronger because it's going to be so much harder to finish people. So the guy trying to finish is really going to be working all the muscles used to finish. And the guy who's over here just holding you up is gonna get a lot more work just holding you up. So it makes the training good from a strength standpoint. It makes the training good from a technical standpoint. And it's just something fun to do. You know, cause I guarantee there's gonna be guys at your practice that you'll lose to standing up, but you'll beat them sitting down or vice versa. You know, just another fun thing to do. Hope you guys have a great day.